uh, Mr. FSG, how are you doing? Good day, Ox. Not too bad, mate. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. Uh, ready to get straight back into swathing some more canola or picking up some swath canola. Yeah, we left the swather going at the end of the last episode, didn't we? And it's done that far field, plus this one here. Um, we've right. got quite a lot on our plate today. Yeah, so basically got these two fields to try and get knocked out, get all picked up and uh, into the bins. So should be good. Should keep us busy. After our escapades with the uh, auger wagon last time, are we just going to dump straight into the trailer? It's probably the safest thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is probably the safest thing. I don't know. Probably it's the safest thing just to do. Bring both trucks over and could use them both, but... Yep. Oh, that sounds like a plan. There should be some um, should be some points here ready to go, so we should be all right. Yeah, there is. There is. Um, we could, of course, you know, we could get back and um, up and back without any issues anyhow. It's not like it was yielding crazy, busy, high or anything. That's right. One of the benefits of canola, right? It's not that high yielding, so it uh, yeah. don't have those issues you'd have with corn or something else. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now, I'm just going to mention it, and I'm sure you will as well. Uh, it looks like we've got a little bit of the flickering we had last week hasn't left the server so apologies in advance if it's uh, a little bit irritating yep yep frustrating there's a mod in there somewhere just not playing ball but uh, mm. it shall not uh, dampen our enthusiasm arcs no that's right that's right it won't stop the canola getting picked up right well uh, i might go and grab the truck bring that down you, you can go and get started and i'll catch up somewhere no worries i'll just move this auger wagon out of the way for you as well yeah right okay good idea all right yeah. chat you in a bit yeah we'll get into it Cool. Well, yes, hello everyone, welcome back to Aussie Farms here with the farm sim guy and myself and as you can see and as we've just said we have got a lot of canola to get through. It's going to be a busy episode, probably a touch repetitive, we'll try and avoid it from being too much the same as the same -sy, but uh, we do, we've just got these two fields and we really need to get them done and get them all finished. So I'm going to park the truck up, um, I reckon about here might just about do. I will just take a double look though and see if we do have course by course uh, let's have a look this one pointing in the right direction does look like the arrows are going in the right way so let's just try that F19 truck weight is our full point uh, F19 truck weight there we go we're going to the bin and we've got canola I might just turn that on see if we'll just get up here where we want it to be and then we'll be able to leave that it'll run around so when it does get full there we go it's opening up again already uh, when it does get full we don't have to bother about getting out and shifting it we can just leave it to do its business and we can keep focused on the task at hand which is to get all of this canola swatched so there we go just wait and see should be about to stop perfect right well we're going to jump out we'll leave this doing its job here and we will go down and find ourselves a little combine i need to turn off that field info um, or that is going to bug me. At least we don't see it when we're up in the combine. Uh, but when we're running around like this, it is just a little bit annoying with the flickering. Anyhow, we head on down here. We'll go get started on the swathing and uh, just get into it. All right, engine started, heater started, threshing started, and FSG is already underway as well. I'm just going to jump in here and make a start as well. I'll have to keep an eye on the fuel. We do have half a tank. That should be enough, but uh, we'll just keep an eye on that just in case. And we should just really be able to get into it and get started, get going. Not sure how long this is going to take. It's, uh, it took us a wee while. I mean, we managed to swath that and pick it all up in uh, the couple of hours we had last week. So we should, I'm optimistic, we'll get through both of these fields today uh, without too many dramas. But we'll just have to wait and see how we get on. So, could be quite a time-lapse heavy episode, we'll see how we go, we might try and put together a little bit of a montage, uh, we'll just have a little bit of fun with it, see where it takes us, anyhow, I'm going to enjoy having a bit of a catch-up and chat with FSG, and we'll see you once we've got a bit further through.
Well, there we are. That is the first field pretty much done. Now, FSG is going to pick up the very last row there. Uh, we're going to go and empty out into the truck and then get the truck moved over to the next field and get it all set up over there. I'm not sure if we've got a auto drive course or not, but it's done a really good job, actually. We're going back and forth as it needs to, so we'll get ourselves emptied out and uh, then we'll get it moved over there. I'm sure we have done auto drive over to that field before, but we'll suss it out when we get there. If there is something we can use or not. So we are, that's us empty, we'll get the combine moved over. Now this next field is a little bit smaller and uh, probably has a little bit more interest in it because we do have those power poles to negotiate. Uh, the Swatha did a pretty good job actually looking across there going around those. Uh, we used the island mode and everything seemed to get picked up pretty well so I'm impressed with the job that did. Let's just uh, get ourselves pulled in here. Let's turn this on. First a little bit done. Let's see actually where we started was just around the corner but from here will do. Uh, in fact this field's quite a bit smaller so we should get through this one a little bit quicker but let's just leave ourselves just there for now. Just turn that all off and we'll head on over and grab the truck. Bring it down, park it on the edge of the field somewhere here. That should work and uh, we'll go from there. See if there's an auto drive course. If not we'll have to go and set one up. It doesn't look like we do have an auto drive course here for the truck so what I might do is if we run it all the way down here if we can put a loop in and then bring it back. Um, just trying to figure out if that's going to work. It should work. Just have a look, see if there's enough space just to turn around up here at the end rather than turning around in the field. I think we probably can just negotiate that here on the grass. So let's just pull forward just a touch. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight for this big trailer. Let's just have a look and see what happens here. Pop that up there. And get this to spin. go right well we've got ourselves around let's just uh finish this off connect that one to there we will just stop recording this one that's hopefully going to be our loop back that up there connect that back and that back and then i'm just going to do a very small little branch off up here the idea being if we're coming from this direction hopefully the auto driver is going to head down do the U-turn, bring us back up and set ourselves up this way. Let's just go and have a look at that. Just in about here somewhere. Let's start recording a secondary course. Driving right here, keep it a little bit separate. Mark ourselves on the edge of the field. Like that. And uh, we'll stop that, we need to give this a label. Pull this F22 truck weight. Ah, that's given it to the wrong one. Bother. Uh, right, we will just delete that. Alright, I'm hoping that that is all going to work. Just press play there. It is just going to get to the weight point. So, we'll just have to wait and see what happens once it's unloaded and we have a full load. It goes and tries to run that down to the silos, whether it gets back, whether it manages to make the turn or not, uh, all will be revealed in due time, but looks like FSG's finished and he's over here. All set, Ox? Uh, I hope so, we will see. It was a little bit tricky, there wasn't too much space to turn around, so fingers crossed it's going to work. Alright, well we'll soon find out, won't we? Well, my track record with auto drive for the last wee while hasn't been the best, so... <laughs> We'll oh, you're too see. hard on yourself. Yeah, we'll see. Right, yes, uh, that went well though. Did go, got a decent amount. Yep. No, we uh, flew through that, didn't we? And mm. uh, that uh, that first auto drive of course worked perfectly. So you yeah, know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. I'm sure this'll be just good. We'll carry on. Get this one done now. Eh? Yep. Like I said, it's uh, it's not as big as uh, the last one, so we should get through it a little bit quicker. Hmm. Fingers crossed, and a little bit of interest with the power poles and that sort of thing. So no falling asleep at the wheel. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> All right. Get to it. Have fun. All right, there we go. We will go and get straight back into it. More of the same. Like we said, a little bit repetitive, but the work has to get done somehow. It's not going to do itself. So we'll carry on. It's like we're going to have to wait for FSG just to get out of the way. He's actually got to empty out into the truck, so let him get there and go past us. And just carry on. 
So we'll see you in a little while. Well, we're stuck waiting for the truck at the moment so I thought I'd come down and ride along with it here to see how it goes with that course we made. So far so good, it's uh, first things first is it managed to get down here to the silos and get unloaded so now we're just going to have to wait and see if it takes the course I wanted it to which is to head down and take that loop. My worry is it's going to head halfway around the map to get back onto the uh, loading point but we're just going to follow along here. Fingers crossed it's going to turn right. And there was my concern. Oh, goodness knows where it's going to head now. Of course, there's no way to tell. Oh, no, there we go. What is it going to do? Maybe turn around here. Right, let's follow along, see where it ends up. That's a little bit of a strange place to turn, though. All right, here's our moment of truth. We've managed to get to this part of the field. Is it going to do the tight 180? It looks like it is. Look at that. Alright, things have worked out. It's a little bit uh, backwards about how it gets to here, but that's more to do with the existing auto drive course on the map. Uh, not one we made, than it is to do with obviously what we've done. So there we go, we managed to get turned around, which will mean it is going to branch off here in just a second and end up parked where our combine is. So that's good, that's a success. Still need to. Uh, Still had to wait for quite a while, probably should have had almost had the second truck lined up, but we didn't have that issue on the other field. It sort of seemed to be that the truck would depart to the auger, out uh, to the grains by the silos, at just the right time. But anyhow, there we go. And it's unloading. Perfect. Right, let's jump back in the combine. We've got, oh, what have we got? I don't know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 18 passes or so. Between the three of us, that's probably, uh, between the three of us, between the two of us, that's probably an unload every up and down, maybe four more loads each, 
we'll see, see what happens. All right, there we are. That is us unloaded, truck back parked up. So we're just going to carry on here. I'll just shoot down and take these two little rows out. If he's geez, up the other end of the field, looks like he's doing a little bit in behind the trees there as well. So we'll get that all done and uh, then we'll carry on. Shouldn't take us too long to get this all finished off. So a little bit more combining and we'll see when we're done. But some pretty good timing here comes the truck back and we are just running down the last little section here of the swath if he's has got enough space in his uh, hopper to be able to pick up all that so he's going to go down and back on that one and we'll be done out of canola out of here and uh, completely finished it's taken some time it has been quite a long process we were thinking actually because the headers on the swath are actually narrower than the uh, Trapper headers we have for the combines, it's actually probably taken longer than if we just straight combine it. But nice to get out and try something a bit different, different piece of equipment and things like that. That turned off. Now I'm just going to sit here and wait. The truck will go past us in just a second. There it is. And they will get in there, get the cover opened, and give us a space to be able to unload on. Let's let them get into their position. We'll be able to get in here and get this all out of there. So that will be our, I think, fourth truck load out of these two fields so good amount of uh, canola I go a long way to making us a whole lot more good money which is good not that we really need it sitting there with seven hundred thousand dollars but uh it'll be good to get done all the same and I've been keeping an eye on our fuel and I noticed that the uh, indicator is just starting to flash there and blink so managed to get through without having to top up but we will once we've finished here to go and park up next to the fuel and do that so we'll just wait for FSG uh, we'll catch up with him when he gets over here and that'll be just about us and done for today well Ogs I was just saying uh, that it has been a bit of a marathon this one yeah it has been um, I said exactly the same thing realised that the headers on the swath are a little bit narrower than what our draper headers would have been so it has taken a bit longer than if we'd done it conventionally but uh, well worth the exercise 
Yeah, and I said it gives us a good opportunity to chew the fat and talk about what's happening in the world of gaming and in home life as well. So it's always nice to catch up, mate. Yeah, it is. It is good. It's always a highlight of the week. So, um, but yeah, we're all done now. So just we have to plan on what we're going to do next time. We've got the wheats ready to go too. So maybe we'll get out and do some proper harvesting or some normal harvesting. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Actually, I was going to have a look at and see what how much uh, canola we've got now. We must have quite a lot. Yeah, I did actually have a look, but I didn't, can't remember how much it was. Um, just over five hundred thousand liters. Nice. With a value at the moment of uh, two seven six, but a max value of uh, four hundred and six thousand. So nice. Not to be uh, not to be sniffed at. Worth the effort, right? Yeah, that's right. There's one point two million dollars worth of products sitting in different places around the farm. Probably keep an eye on sell stuff, right? We should. We Some should. flowers coming up soon. Yeah. Yes. Now there's a few things we can probably get rid of, but um, we won't worry about it now. Right. Well, thank you, mate. It was good fun. Yeah, it Have was a great week. Yeah, you too, mate. I'm going to run my combine over it. Need some diesel and might give it a quick wash off. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Absolutely. Cheers, right. mate. Have a good See one. You later. See ya. Bye. But just in case we haven't spent enough time in the combine, let's uh, get it over here, we'll give it a quick wash off with the pressure washer and we will top it up with diesel, like I said before, we are getting that little indicator light blinking, so we better make the most of uh, remembering it's there before we do head off, off farm, off yard, to go and get those wheat fields done. So we'll sort that out, we will uh, make sure everything's looking spick and span the next time, but for us today... It has been a bit of a different episode, lots of time lapse and uh, lots of time spent in the harvester, but it's been fun and like if you've said, it is always a good chance to catch up, have a chat, chew the fat about uh, yeah, home life, farm sim life, whatever uh, we end up talking about, lots of motorsport, things like that, sports, football, everything, uh, there's no topic as sacred around here, but that is for us and uh, for you that is the end of the episode so as always thank you all very much for watching do hope you have enjoyed this one like i said a little bit different to normal but uh it is what it is uh, and we'll catch you in the next one mm -hmm.